Hello and welcome to Module 2 of Pastoral Care Field Education. Well, by this stage, you should have already gotten a hold of a copy of our Field Education Manual. Do trust that you've taken the time to read through that carefully and have made yourself familiar with all that is involved in this particular subject. Also, by this time, you should have now completed your semester planner and submitted that to me, preferably uh, via an email or you could in fact drop it in at our college office as well. If you are having any difficulty in this regard, please get in touch with me. We need to get that uh, sorted out as quickly as possible so that you can progress uninhibited in your field education for this semester. Well, the topic for today is focused upon the importance of developing reflective practice. Many of you, I'm sure, have already been involved in ministry of one kind or another and have at times paused after you've been involved in ministry to reflect upon the journey that you've been involved in. Well, we start this lecture by looking more particularly at the ministry of Jesus to see the way in which he developed his disciples, that band of followers who came alongside of him, who watched, who learned so much by simply being in his presence, but who were then also given the opportunity to begin to exercise ministry in the name of Jesus and indeed in the power that he would provide. And so moving on from that, we want to then look at the importance of reflective practice. In fact, we see Jesus even doing this kind of thing with his own disciples as he trains them for future ministry. We'll look at the importance of what we might call practical or situational reflection, re reflecting upon the particular ministry situation that we have been involved in, the kind of activities that we've been involved in, the things that have happened, thinking carefully through what has taken place so that in the future we might be better equipped to make wise and careful decisions. We'll then look at the importance of theological reflection. That is looking at the importance of why we do things when it comes to ministry. For many of us, it's very easy in ministry to simply replicate the ministry patterns that we've seen in those that we have admired. But more than that, we need to have established a clear understanding of what are the biblical and theological principles that underpin our ministry practice and exercise. And finally then, we'll be going on to look at the importance of what we call personal reflection. That is the opportunity to reflect upon our ministry activity with a view to more clearly understanding who we are in God. What are the things that God has been challenging us with personally as we've been involved in ministry? Developing a clearer understanding of not only who we are in God as his children, but also then as his servants. What is God requiring of us in the discharge of our ministry responsibilities? Well, I'm trusting that this will prove to be a very useful module for you. What we are wanting to see developed is not only people who've learnt how to do reflection, but we want to see people who develop the art of being reflective. In other words, being reflective as a constant and ongoing part of their ministry for years to come. Well, I trust that God will bless you. And again, if you have any questions or concerns about anything that uh, pertains to this subject, please don't hesitate to either email me or give me a call. I'll be delighted to help. God bless you.